our plan because today. Because it's rank hypocrisy. It is not it? hypocrisy. It's a free country, it's a democracy, and I'm allowed to eat meat. Piers Morgan is at it again, getting on people he knows he can bully to his show, ambushing them before they can speak, and hitting them with appeals to hypocrisy. Piers Morgan is a coward and is a simpleton, and he only has one trick in the bag. Piers Morgan, you're an absolute joke. I come on your show in 2018, four years ago, right? And I was fresh into the animal rights movement and I made you look like an absolute buffoon because you tried to use my criminal history against me in a dairy discussion and that's all you have. I am the one who let everyone know about my criminal history from day dot. You thought you had some crazy gotcha where like, because someone has done something wrong in their past, you can do whatever you want for infinitum and have no repercussions. The reason why I'm responding to him again, even though if you want a full context about this whole Pierce Morgan appeal to hypocrisy thing, here's another video where I'm a lot more philosophical, I go into detail and I'm a lot calmer. This here is just basically to call Pierce Morgan an absolute coward and a bully because I actually got contacted by Pierce's producer here uh, to jump on the show about uh, a, a different topic. But you know, they, they chop and change topics, yada yada. He's got someone from Animal Rebellion on instead. My claim is that Pierce Morgan is too much of a coward to have me on. Pierce Morgan will only get people on that he knows he can bully and ambush and that can't hold their own against him. Or people who aren't used to being under that high pressure environment who he can just hammer with questions and not let them answer. I contacted the producer straight away and I agreed to come on the show and they didn't choose me. But you know, Pierce has the final say on who's on his show. I've tried uh, since my debate in 2018 to get back on the show when Pierce was using his vegans eat bread argument and you know, vegans cause crop deaths argument and vegans kill the little creatures argument and they wouldn't have it. Pierce would not have it. Pierce makes the final decision. The producers work for Pierce. Let's just watch this embarrassing clown circus of a host, Pierce Morgan, and what he does to this activist here. Because we know animal farming and fishing are a leading cause of the climate crisis. And we know having a strictly vegan diet is bad for you as well. Well, that's not true. A lot of science says it's bad for you. <laughs> She's like, uh, animal agriculture is bad for the climate crisis. And he's like, well, eating a vegan diet is also bad for you. Mate, embarrassing. That's not true. It is true. No, the, what the, do you eat? I eat... Uh, do you eat almonds? Almond. Do you drink almond milk? Here we go, he's a one trick buffoon, Pierce. Do you eat almonds? Do you eat almonds? Do you know that during pollination, some bees die for almonds? I think you're digressing from the, the, I'm big, sorry, question. the big issue. I'm just here. curious what you eat. Do you eat almonds? I'm here to talk about the climate crisis. Answer my question. Do you eat almonds 30, or drink almond milk? 30 million people in Pakistan. Do you drink almond milk? Have been affected do you by drink severe, almond milk? severe flood. He's going to keep asking her till she answers because this is his gotcha. Do you drink almond milk? I drink plant-based milk. You do, you do. And do you eat avocados? I eat a plant-based diet. Do you eat avocados? We're asking the government. Do you eat avocados? Yes? A leading... She should have known that Pierce was just going to ask her if she eats almonds or avocados because that's his gotcha because that's all he has. What he's doing here is actually called an appeal to hypocrisy. He's trying to find an out because if you can find something on her like, hey, those earrings she's wearing, they're made of gold. You don't know where the gold was mined, so therefore I can decapitate cows and have them in a sandwich. You know, hey, Pierce, let's throw this one back on you, mate. Do you eat meat? Because if you eat meat, I'm going to now go shoot rhinos and eat them too, because you eat meat. How about that? I know you're vehemently against poaching. But Trophy the... hunting is a very different thing. Mm. That's about people posing for these sickening pictures mm. and putting the severed heads of their prey onto their wall. You know what? I'm going to go poach some elephants that you love because you eat beef. How about that? Or how about this one? Hey, you know what, Piers? Because this woman here may or may not eat almonds, I'm just going to walk into the zoo and shoot up the whole zoo. She eats almonds, so I can just basically do anything. That's your logic, bro. From do you eat, it's, look, it's, it's an interview. You don't just answer different questions. Do you eat avocados? I eat a plant-based diet, which do is- Do you eat avocados? <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. Great. Do you know how avocados and almonds get made? Absolutely. You do? Yes. Do you realise that in California, every year, for six weeks- So, we've seen this coming, mate. They fly in billions of bees to create your almonds and avocados, and in that process, Several billion bees get murdered. Several billion bees. I don't know where he's getting these numbers from, but what Pierce fails to recognize, and I'll go into this in my other video, 
is that those bees are being borrowed from the honey industry and vegans already boycott honey, so they're, they're honey bees. So Piers, do you eat honey, mate? Because if you eat honey, <laughs> then you're causing the problem of bee pollination. When you snip uh, the queen bee's wings off and she can't leave and then you contain these bees, it's much clearer that that's a rights violation of the bees. When you move honey bees around, it's not even clear that that's a rights violation at all. The bees are actually dying because they're mixing two pesticides together, not because of the pollination itself. This is a bee. <laughs> so what he's trying to say, right, is that there's no difference between buying plants, avocados, almonds, but if you're going to use that argument, it would be all plant foods. There's no difference in buying all plant foods because insects die because you eat wheat. So therefore, I can cut off animals' heads and eat their body, even though those animals are eating plants too. Those animals are having their rights violated. The animals in the crops are kind of incidental deaths. That last time I checked is a living animal billions get slaughtered and I say to you why don't you care about the little guys can I say that the, the... it's total hypocrisy isn't it you don't care about bees being murdered you let me speak, speak Pierce. so this is all a joke to Pierce he loves it he gets off on it you know he loves this little bee argument and he doesn't understand that in order for him to care about this issue he must also care about pigs being gas chambered cows being uh, stabbed in the throat chickens in factory farms who eat plants which the plants have insect deaths. He doesn't realize that if he's gonna make this argument, he should make the argument times a million towards animal agriculture, but he doesn't. He'll eat KFC, he'll eat beef, he'll eat bacon, he'll eat dairy. He loves dairy. Look at him, he's dairy fueled. Look at that face. Nothing but cheese and nothing but yogurt. Pierce doesn't realize that by making this argument, he's advocating for veganism, but all he wants to do is say, you did something a little bit wrong, so I can do whatever I want. It's very childish and stupid, and Pierce is just a bully ambushing her. Will you let me speak? I'd Why really are like you to laughing? Respond. It's not funny. I'd like to respond. Bees me... getting slaughtered and you giggling away like it doesn't matter, whilst destroying buildings because you care so much about animals. You don't care about the little guys, do you? This is, he's been repeating this for the last four years. And I think it was when he got wrecked in that dairy discussion with me. Ever since then, he was like, let's get my researchers to find out something on vegans. I know, insects die in crop deaths. Oh, wait a second. Most of the crops are fed to the animals, but I'm not going to think about that logically. Maybe in a wild environment, the same amount of animals might die. Then in a crop, there's insects eating each other. There's birds of prey happening in the wild all the time. So who even knows if the crop kills more animals? It might even kill less. <laughs> What Pierce's logic advocates for is just getting rid of plant agriculture. Plant agriculture is the only reason we have civilization anyway. Like she's advocating for us to go back to pre-agricultural period or something in order to be ethical. Absolutely insane. He won't even let her speak. Look at him. I'm laughing because I'd like to answer your question. I've been brought on the show to answer your question, so I'd really appreciate being- I don't, you're never going to persuade me because I think you're a hypocrite. Oh my God. You know what, Pierce? You shouldn't have any moral system at all if you have this attitude. You can pull out parts of hypocrisy from everyone in the population, right? So does that mean whenever there's a mass murder of human beings, whenever there's like human slavery and child abuse and rape, all of the most horrific crimes against people, when they're committed, you could just say as the one who committed those crimes, people are hypocrites. The judge who's sentencing me for committing this mass murder of human beings, her clothes were probably made from cheap labor in Pakistan, so I can go ahead and do what I want. This judge, I think she eats avocados and almonds, so who is she to sentence me to prison for murder, slavery, and rape when she eats avocados? Do you see how crazy your moral system is, Pierce? Basically, if you can pick apart anyone at all, for anything at all, let's just say I shoplifted when I was 10 years old. And you could say, well, basically, since you shoplifted when you were 10 years old, I can go steal the lives and rights of whoever I want for infinity. That is the <laughs> That is your logic, Piers. Take your position to its logical conclusion and you'll see how ridiculous and insane you are. But you don't care about that, do you, mate? You just care about ambushing people who you know you can bully on your TV show live. Like a lot of vegans I've met. You can all be as hangry as you like and not have meat. I don't believe in the science of a strictly vegan diet. I don't believe in science. I don't believe in anything. The only thing I believe in is that eating an avocado is exactly the same as mass murdering billions and billions of conscious beings and also feeding them plants, which kills the insects I care about so much. 
if, if vegan diets worked, a lot of animals wouldn't eat other animals. <laughs> what a dumbass. Oh my God, did you hear what he said? <laughs> he said if vegan diets worked, a lot of animals wouldn't eat other animals. <laughs> so Pierce would rather appeal to carnivores in nature than believe science. <laughs> hey Pierce, guess what? Cows don't eat meat. I could use your same appeal to nature and go, well, guess what Pierce? If eating meat was healthy, then why don't cows eat it? You know what I mean? Because that's science, isn't it? <laughs> He's another level of, well, wow, how does he have a talk show? Like, Pierce Morgan has got to be below average IQ, I think. That's objectively true. That was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And I, have, I left school at 14, and I was this person in the gangs and, you know, the drug addict that Pierce liked to expose my criminal history and that so much. But, Pierce, you have reached new heights of stupidity. Do you believe in the climate crisis? Yes. So he doesn't believe in science <laughs> when it comes to human health and plant-based diets. When we have so much research now, we even have this position paper from the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics. You have the Adventist Health Study. Amazing research on uh, plant predominant or full vegan diets, right? Pierce doesn't want to believe that, but he believes in the climate crisis, which is unusual for someone like uh, Pierce Morgan. Usually they deny climate science as well, which is exposes an incredible level of hypocrisy, Pierce. Well, the animal agriculture, farming and fishing is a leading cause of the climate crisis. You know what's also a leading cause of the climate crisis? Planes which carry vast amounts of your avocados and your almonds from California and fly them thousands of miles to your table here in your vegan cafes. I don't even think they, they import from California to the UK avocados. Uh, they have, they import them from Peru and stuff. But anyways, Pierce, Pierce is making some abolitionist claim on environmental damage, like we can't cause any environmental harm whatsoever by existing. I don't have that position. I'm not a pure environmentalist. If you were a pure environmentalist, you would stop existing because we have to create some amount of environmental damage to exist, okay? Now, importing fruits and vegetables is essential and it's absolutely fine to do. Now, when you talk about the destruction from animal agriculture, you're talking about all of those plants, right, being grown in the Amazon, right, for soya, especially soya, grown in the Amazon and flown over to be fed to chickens, Pierce. You eat chickens, you absolute <laughs> hypocrite. You eat chickens, right, in the UK, and chickens are fed soy from the Amazon. And how many chickens are being eaten? A billion a year in the UK? And every six weeks they're being raised and killed. Raised and killed, 50,000 in a shed. You know, if we ate the soy directly, Pierce, I don't know if you're very good at maths, but we'd be eating a lot less soy, wouldn't we, mate? So it's okay to import and export animal feed to feed Pierce's burger addiction and his, his lust for the slaughtered bodies of innocent victims, but it's not okay to import plant foods for humans to eat directly. All he's doing is appealing to hypocrisy. He doesn't care about the problem. Okay. And then they also go in trucks, and that is an environmental hazard too. So you're not only are you killing billions of bees, you're destroying the planet. This is why veganism is about animal rights. Climate and, and health are important bolstering arguments, but they're not the argument. The argument is an animal rights one. You have the brass neck to sit here in between munching your almonds and your avocados and start preaching to me about how virtuous you are about not killing animals I'm and, pl and saving the planet. I'm like, hang on. So let's flip it on its head, Pierce. I mean, yes, I did commit multiple mass shootings last night and I have been enslaving children and decapitating them so I can eat their bodies in burgers. But you <laughs> come in here all self-righteous after eating almonds and avocados. Like, who do you think you are? <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Hang on, you're destroying the planet and you're killing billions of bees. Can I, I don't get it. She is not killing billions of bees, Pierce. And you're wrecking Big Ben. Can I respond And Trafalgar that? Square. And you're b breaking up Harrods. I hear that you're very frustrated. No, I just find it such absurd, like... hypocritical nonsense. How does he do? You are such a fragile coward. Let her respond to you. Pierce, you only get people on you know you can talk over. 
If you let her talk, I think that you might allow her to get one up on you and you don't want that to happen because it's live and you're very well aware of the time constraints in a live conversation, which is why I always talk over people in live conversations because I know they, that, that when you go on someone else's show, it's them against you and they're trying to get one up on you. I would really like to respond to that. Go on then. So a leading study from Oxford, which is the most comprehensive study on food and the climate, that has ever been done before has said that animal products that's farming um animals and, and fishing is the leading cause is a and bee, it, is and a bee it an surpasses, animal it surpasses, okay. i'm not finished sorry it surpasses Actually, I, Ola, is a bee an animal see he didn't even let her get out her point so that's because he's incredibly fragile and doesn't want her to get this point out she's in a bit of an impossible situation here and she's very polite and he's not letting her have a chance. He's just bullying her. He's not interested in having a discussion. He's interested in getting people on. He can ambush. We all know Pierce. He's a gutless, spineless coward. It surpasses all All is a all bee plant based options. Is a bee is one of these things an animal? Of course a bee is an animal. If a bee is an animal, present? why are you slaughtering them? Why are you not talking about the most important issue that is facing our planet? Because planets it's today? rank hypocrisy. It is isn't not it? hypocrisy. I meet so many the vegans who, who, who devour avocados and almonds and don't seem to realise it involves a slaughter. Look at him. He must feel like a real hero. Slaughter of billions of bees. Both almonds and avocados are less damaging to the planet. Oh, they're less damaging. And what about how they get flown here from California? Still what about how they damaging. get trucked across Still Europe? Less. That study in Oxford, is, that is exactly what it is the about. Planet. No, anyway, it, look, it, I'm it, starving it, and uh, you're not going to persuade me. So he's made her cry, right? And my response to you destroying all these things is to have a Big Mac. Because you know what? It's a free country, it's a democracy, and I'm allowed to eat meat. It's a free country, it's a democracy, and now I'm going to eat the body of an animal who was murdered against their will in front of you. When someone who kills bees to feed their avocado habit, mine. Now he's going to eat the body of someone. Imagine if I was like eating a human being on TV and going, you know what? You eat avocado. There is no difference. There is no morally significant difference between you eating an avocado and me eating this human burger. I guess that means, Pierce, that I can shoot you in the head, cut you up, put you in a burger, and eat you because vegans eat avocados. Is that fair enough? Mine. But we're asking for the government to support absolutely cut her off. When this uh, producer reached out to me, I knew exactly what Pierce's best arguments were. They were the bread, they were the, the appeal to hypocrisy with the avocados and bees. It's, it's quite frustrating to watch. She was in an impossible situation. Pierce knew exactly what he was doing. He didn't let her finish, didn't let her speak, didn't let her talk about any studies. He just ambushed her, talk, spoke over her, and then ate McDonald's in front of her, um, which contained the body of a conscious being. So obviously there is very big moral differences between avocados, almonds, and animal agriculture because any issue that you see with av avocados and almonds are magnified greatly by animal agriculture. Fishing industry, for example, one to three trillion fish being dragged out the ocean. Then you've got uh, farmed fish as well who eat plant foods as well. You know, then you've got all the animals in animal agriculture eating plant foods which are transported all over the world. Uh, animal products are transported all over the world. Import and export of animals all across the world and, and animal uh, products and meat all across the world. So any the import export environmental damage is just magnified in animal agriculture but we're talking about animal rights here we're talking about animal rights violations and animal agriculture is just one big massive massive holocaust of sentient beings Piers Morgan does not care about that he does not care about doing what is best for animals he just wants to appeal to hypocrisy so in Pierce's insane worldview he can never have a moral issue with anything ever again no matter how horrific because vegans eat avocados. Do you eat avocado? What do you think about that?